and she is delicious and lovely, and she's here for you now. Please welcome to the stage, Erica Scott. Walking men here this evening. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> but I gotta warn you, fellas, I'm a big eater. <laughs> You're probably figuring I must have had some sort of work done to look this good. <laughs> this is a gift from the gods. It's all natural. I mean, besides the fact that I have to occasionally pluck thick black hairs from off my chin and shade between my eyebrows. And, <laughs> and because it's gotten so big, I've been forced to start wearing rubber underwear that lift and suck my stomach in so tightly that my belly button and arsehole have now become fused together as well. I'm not saying that chubby girls like myself can't be promiscuous, but speaking on my behalf, odds are, if I'm about to put six inches of anything into my mouth, <laughs> chances are I probably bought it at Subway. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that I like food better than sex, because I don't. I like sex, and I like sex with a man. I mean, I'm not that against lesbians, but personally, the only pussy I've ever slept with has been my husband. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that, because he'll cry. It is a shame, though, that food and sex aren't combined together as one. I mean, you think about it. If my husband's willy whacker was made of chocolate, and his nuts were honey roasted. <laughs> Good lord, I would wear nothing to bed but a bib. <laughs> Wait, my doctor tells me I should lose weight. He says it's easy. All you have to do is follow the Canada's food guide. I have a pear shape, a lard ass, cottage cheese thighs, and a muffin top. <laughs> 